Hey ladies, so today I want to talk about how to avoid dryness, or may I say this way, how do you retain moisture and avoid dryness? That's how I'm going to phrase it. I want to share with you what my tricks and tips that I use to um, avoid dryness. Now, my first big job, my first whole year, I had issues with dryness but of course I wasn't as knowledgeable as I am now then I thought I was but I really wasn't my first year I just thought I just conquered the whole natural hair thing but I really really didn't I just was thinking because my hair was growing I didn't I put it up in a puff it didn't matter but that's not the case but now I know that water is my best friend I think before I wasn't putting enough water in my hair, I was still in that stage, like when I was relaxed, you kind of avoid water, you know, you got your relaxed, you got your wash and set, you know, you ain't trying to get me in no water, you know, that was like taboo. So now I, 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 I put a lot of water in my hair. Water is the key for me and a leave-in conditioner and a mix. And I think I talk about this all the time, my particular mixture that I use. Now, the conditioner that I use, the leave-in conditioner that I use, is the Garnier Fructis Sleek and Shine. This is it. This is what I use. This is what I've been using ever since I cut my hair the second time around. This is like my third bottle. I keep repurchasing it. It's very inexpensive, and it does the job. Now, I do um, do the lock method as well. Even when my hair was short, when I first cut it, I still did it. I was still, you know do all the steps the same exact way and I still do it today but when I feel like my hair is a little bit crunchy you know I really don't have that issue anymore like I used to but if I feel like it's a little bit dry I would just have my mixture and with the oil that I use is grapeseed oil and this is something I got from Walmart it was like five bucks and I've had this for a while this is my my um second bottle this was first bottle I had a different brand but this is still the same one I had since I did my second big chop. I did that back in February. So it's been about February. I got to do the fingers. February, March, April, May, June, July. So it's about five months. And this is the, this is the brand that I, I've been using. And I use water. And, and I mix it. I keep it so simple, guys. I mean, you don't have to go out buying all these different products just to achieve, you know, you know what you're trying to do. This is an old Bath and Body Works spray bottle. This is country apple <laughs> to be exact. And I put everything in here. Now I cannot sit and say I use this amount of oil, this amount of much um, conditioner. I just know I do use more water than anything because that's going to be my base. And then with this, I'll just maybe do maybe one squeeze because a lot is going to come out. One squeeze, maybe a half, one and a half. And then I'll just pour you know what I see fit for myself because this is oil so you know and I just shake it up and I just put it in my hair now if you notice like when I do some of my um my twisting videos for you guys I don't really put this in my hair because I'll use this after the fact because I'm using the styling product or whatever I'm using my moisture product that I'm using to twist my hair with the next day I may go over or when I come home when you guys don't see I'll put this in my hair but yeah so let me know what are some of your, you know, tips and tricks that you use to avoid dryness and to retain your, your moisture and things like that? Because we all can, you know, learn from each other. You know, the next person can share their information and it can always help the next person. Or someone might be using the same thing you're using but maybe doing it in a different technique. And it may not, you know, it may not be working for them, but using your way may. So let's, you know. Do how we always do. Leave our comments below so everyone can read and share. And I just want to say thank you for all you guys, you know, just chiming in and supporting me. And I want to say thank you to all my new subscribers in addition to my subscribers that have been with me from day one. And, you know, some subscribers that I that, that are subscribed to me, I subscribe to them as well. And, you know, we just support each other in what we do. Like I said, this is a hobby for me. I am super, super grateful and I'm enjoying what's going on. People that I have met and people that I will meet. And I hope sometime this summer for all my ladies who are in New York. I'm originally from New York, born and raised from the Bronx. I um, 
plan on going home or visiting my friends and family up there sometime within the summer. Well, the summer's already here, but I want to say like maybe beginning of August, somewhere around there. And I hope, I'm not going to do no meetups because I don't have that many subscribers, but just meet some of you guys individually. I already know that there's one lady that I'm definitely going to meet up when I see her. And I think, um, oh, what's her name? Cora Couture. She's from New York. I definitely want to meet her. Um... My lovely friend, I, I think her name is Deadly Sin, something like that. That's on, that's, oh, Dainty, Dainty A. That's YouTube, and then the other one is um, Deadly Sin. I definitely want to meet her. She's in the Bronx, I believe. And it's a few other ladies. You know, if you are in the Bronx or you in Manhattan, Harlem, whatever, let me know. Because when I come up there, I will be making my rounds. I do not stay in the house all day because I'm only there for a few days. I do get tired of New York after a while. <laughs> So, I will probably be there maybe a weekend or so. But I definitely want to meet you ladies. And I will be in Maryland. My brother lives in Maryland. So, I will be there as well one of these weekends coming up. So, for you ladies who live in that the DMV area, let me know. So, I will talk to you guys later. And please don't forget, rate, comment, and subscribe. Thumbs up if you like this topic that you want to talk about. And if you have any topic that you want me to chat about, leave it. Inbox me. So, I can definitely talk about it with you ladies. And we can have an open forum. So, bye.